Have you ever wondered why clothing seems to appear darker when it gets wet? After all, water isn't dark, so why would our clothes appear darker? Hi, my name is Cole Sandry, and today we're going to be delving deeper into this topic to further understand what it is that alters the shade of our clothes. understand how this phenomenon occurs, we should first talk about how we perceive the color of a t-shirt or really any object firstly. Let's take this green poster for example. When light is shown onto this green poster, it absorbs all of the light waves except for the wavelength green. That wavelength green is then reflected into our eyes and we perceive the color green of this poster. Next, to better understand what is happening here, we're going to talk about a phenomenon at play called total internal reflection. In physics, total internal reflection occurs when waves encounter an interface between two mediums, and instead of being refracted into the second medium, they are entirely reflected back into the first medium. To better visualize the phenomenon of total internal reflection for you, I have filled this clear glass with tap water to better view how the light rays are reflected back into the first medium. Now without further ado, allow me to shine my laser pointer so we can have a better visual of how the light rays would behave. As you can see, the light from the laser is totally reflected back into the first medium, which is how total internal reflection occurs, as you can see from this great visual. Now you may be wondering, how does this tie into my shirt changing color when it gets wet? We will be talking about that in the next demonstration, courtesy of SciShow on YouTube. When a shirt gets wet, a shallow layer of water forms on its surface. The light passes through this layer to the shirt. Now when the rays of light are reflected off of this shirt, they come in contact with the water and undergo total internal reflection. Therefore, due to multiple interactions of the rays onto the shirt, it absorbs more of the light, leaving less light to migrate to our retinas in comparison to one that is dry. This results in a shirt that appears darker. In fact, this principle is true for all mediums that are porous, meaning that they have small holes in them allowing liquids or air to pass through. Such as paper, concrete, and of course fabric. This photo demonstrates how total internal reflection is not present when a shirt is dry, as it shows how the fibers of a fabric reflect the light away and into our eyes. On the basis of this theory, I experimented using different colors of shirts to find the differing amounts of absorbed light. And it went exactly how I thought. As you can see from this table of values, I have taken note of the condition of the shirt, whether it was dry or wet, the color, white, red, dark green, or black, and the incident light. The incident light being consistent throughout the entire experiment. The reflected light, however, was differing as this was the light being reflected off of the shirt into space or into your eye, for example. As you can see as well, transmitted light was negligible. That is due to the fact that there is no light going through the shirt as it is sitting on my table during these, this experiment. Now you'll also notice that the incident light, reflected light, and transmitted light are all being measured in lux. Lux is lumens over meters squared and is how light intensity is measured from a light meter. Now next in my experiment were my calculations for the dry and wet shirts. Now to avoid using uh, every single shirt's color for an example, I'm just gonna be using the white shirt for this. Now to find the light absorbed, you would have to do the incident light minus the light reflected minus the light transmitted since light intensity is a scalar. And in this example, it would be 1000 for the light intensity uh, light incident, sorry, minus the 820 for the light reflected minus eight zero for the light transmitted due to being on the table equals the light absorbed, which is 180 lux. And what you'll notice is that the wet shirt is 280 lux, which is more than the dry shirt. This means that the shirt absorbed more light when it was wet as compa compared to when it was dry, confirming the fact that the shirt is darker as it absorbed more light. So in conclusion, our shirt appears darker when it becomes wet due to the thin layer of water forming over the top of our clothes, causing the light rays to undergo total internal reflection, which results in the shirt absorbing more light than it does when it is dry. Hopefully the next time you go to take a sip of your drink and embarrassingly miss your mouth causing a white stain on your shirt, you can explain the science behind it so you can make up for some of your smarts when people start laughing. <laughs>
As I conclude this video and experiment, I invite you to think deeper the next time you see a wet shirt. It's not simply just a fact of life that our shirt is darker when it is wet, rather an intricate dance of light and fabric. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next science video.